Welcome to Starfish, Everett Community College's Student Success Technology. In this video, we'll explore what Starfish is, how to log in, what you'll see when you first log in, and how to set up your profile. Starfish is a whole variety of tools designed to help you reach out to staff and faculty and to help staff and faculty reach out to you to help you get the resources you need to succeed. This includes a whole bunch of things, a scheduling tool, an early alert system where you can get feedback from staff and faculty that you work with, or automated notices from the college, a central question and answer space where you can reach student services, and a lot more. You have two choices for how to log in to Starfish. First, you can get in through Canvas. To do this, just log into Canvas and pick any of your classes. You'll see on the bar on the left hand side, all the way at the bottom, a button that says Starfish. Click this and you're in. It's as easy as that. Now this is very convenient, but sometimes it doesn't work if you're not on a laptop or a desktop because it can display a little bit oddly on mobile devices. So no matter what device you're on, you can always log in directly. To find this direct login page, you can go to the link included in the description of this video, or you can go to the college website, search for Starfish, click the first page, and the login screen is linked to in the first paragraph. To log into the system, you're going to use the same username and password that you would use for any campus system whether that's your campus email, Canvas, or anything else. This is really convenient. You don't need to remember another username and password. It also means if you're having trouble logging in, that IT can help you out. Once you've logged into the system, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. My Success Network. These are the people you work with most closely on campus. Your instructors, your advisors, and anyone you're working with through special programs like CDS or veterans. To take a closer look at any of these people you work with, just click on the three dots next to their name. From there, you could email them, call them if you're on a smartphone, or view their profile. You can also find other people on campus that you don't work with as closely through the search feature. Just type in part of their name and you'll find them here. Now, if you've never logged into Starfish before, the very first thing you're going to want to do is to set up your profile. To do this, go here to the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner. Click that, click the arrow next to your name, and click profile. Now there's a few things you could set up on this screen. You could enter your phone number. You can upload a profile picture. It is recommended, although not required, that this profile picture be a picture of your face. Of course, we all have reasons why we might not want our picture to be online. But if it doesn't bother you, it's a great way to help the staff and faculty you work with get to know you as a person. The most important thing to enter on this screen, though, is your alternate email. By default, Starfish will always send all messages to your everettcc.edu email address, or institution email. If that isn't the place that you check the most, though, you'll want to make sure that messages are going to somewhere where you're going to see them. This could be a personal email, or you can have Starfish text you messages. Either way, you're going to use this alternate email field. If you want messages to go to a personal email, just enter that email address and click also send notifications to my alternate email address here, and you're done. If you want it to text you though, it's a little more complicated. You're going to need to enter your cell phone in the alternate email field, but formatted like an email address. To see how to do that, you can go over here Click this tiny picture of a smartphone and see the formats for different cell phone providers. 
it's important that you use the format for your cell phone provider. If you don't see your cell provider on this list, feel free to email starfish at everettcc.edu and we'll help you figure out the right format. Once you've entered all of the information on this page that you need, click Submit, and your profile is saved. And that's it. We've seen how to log in, how to find Starfish, the basics of what it does, how to use My Success Network, and how to set up a profile. In our next video, we'll look at kudos and flags, as well as the dashboard and messages screen.